Welcome to Sunny Day Stamping. I'm Julie Baca. I am so glad you're here. I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to be making a really simple Christmas card, but I'm going to give you some tips on how to uh, step it up if you have some extra time and a few extra supplies. Um, all of the measurements for my cards are over on my website, sunnydaystamping.com, because I want you to be able to make these at home. You can also go there to purchase all of your supplies. It really helps me out when you uh, purchase through me, so thank you for doing that. Um, let's get started. So here's our card, really simple. I love simple cards, they're my favorite. Um, I've got some stamping tips and a paper saving tip to show you on how to do this. Now we're gonna be using this awesome, awesome stamp set. <laughs> I love this, it's new this season. I love these huge sentiments and all these super cute little elements. There's so much versatility in this. So the example we're gonna make together, we're gonna use garden green and real red. We're gonna use those same colors in the card stocks and um, the same colors in the ribbon. This comes as a two pack of garden green and real red. And you can see that these colors match all together perfectly. And this is what Stampin' Up! is the best at, <laughs> is their color coordination. And it to me, it's worth the money to get them all coordinated because your card or your project is gonna turn out like perfect. Um, in the past oh, years and years, I've, I've collected other products and put them together and my cards are just, they're just off. And if I'm gonna take the time to make a homemade card, I want, I want the best. So, and Stampin' Up! is it, so. <laughs> So you're gonna start by choosing which sentiment you wanna put on the front. And then I've got the measurements for those. They're over on my website, or if you're an email subscriber, you'll get this print and make project sheet. So you can figure out exactly what size you need this to be, and then what size the uh, layer needs to be. Um, I just hope that is helpful to you. So I'm gonna choose the jingle uh, sentiment, and I'm gonna line it up on my grid paper, and then I'm gonna take my, whoops, <laughs> line it up on the grid paper. Then I'll take my block and line that up and that will make sure that my sentiment is nice and straight. Now with big, uh, big stamps like this, sometimes it's easier to bring the stamp to the, or the, I'm sorry, bring the ink to the stamp so that you don't get it all over the block. Now I'm gonna have to bring this down where it's but underneath my eye. Now you just center it up on this piece of paper, kind of hold it there. Okay, now for this for this one, we are going to stamp the inside. Check this out. It fits directly inside there. But if you are going to color the inside of this, because it's just an outline, and we're going to do that with our second example, the stepped up example, you want to stamp this first and set it aside so that it dries. So when you go back to color it with the Stampin' Blends, it's not going to bleed. But let's go ahead and stamp this on the inside. I'm gonna do it all in green so that these are all the same. Um, so it's like one nice big uniform uh, sentiment on the front. So let's do this green. Center it up on here. That is what is so nice about these photopolymer stamps. They're see-through so you can make sure you get it in the right spot. And do you know what? I don't think I did. Oh, it's just a little off, but that kind of adds to the charm of it. Okay, then we can glue this on here. So now you're going to grab your stamped layer. This is going to be five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And what we're going to do is take the all the way. So it says jingle all the way. And these are the other ones. Tis the season to be jolly. Believe in the magic. Oh, I love it. So now you're going to take those nice cursive words. And we're going to stamp real red on real red. And we're going to do it in a diagonal. And so I am going to just start at the corner. And we're just going to move our way down. And one of my tips is I don't want to um, have these words all lined up. I, although, actually, that could look cool. But I want mine to be kind of off set like this. So you're just going to keep moving them down. And now I I have not yet stamped it all together in one. Um, so it says all the way. So I'm going to do that there. And then I'm going to fill in the rest of that diagonal line on the sides like that. 
Now I'm going to start over here because I don't want it to be the same. I don't want it to be in a column. Sorry, I got to twist this paper. I'm having a hard time seeing it. Okay, so now this will go on this layer of paper, but as a paper saving tip, <laughs> and because the holidays are coming, I am going to cut out a tag for here. Now we're not gonna use this on this card. I'm gonna save this to put on a package, but when this is layered back on top of here, no one's gonna know that that is missing and you've made yourself an extra tag. So I just ran that through my stamp and cut and emboss machine, save that for later. This, these are the tailor-made tags, by the way, and check it out. Check it out how it has that awesome stitching. Now, I'm, I want to be careful how I glue this on here. I'm going to just put glue along the edge. You can do a little bit on the sides, but I'm not going to put it in the middle because I don't want that to sink down. Now, this method works great for the front of your card. But for the interior of the card, I don't like to cut it out because when you go to write on it, you're going to feel that underneath. All right, now we're going to add our ribbon. And you can see I put rubber bands on this ribbon because I didn't like it unfurling. And man, that keeps it on there just really nicely. So now you're going to layer your ribbon on top of your card about an inch up from the bottom. And I'm going to hold one side and we're going to flip this over like that. Then I'm gonna just fold this over and I'm gonna tape it into place because, man, sometimes I don't like tying and so I love projects where I can just tape it on the back. So I I kept it on the spool, but if you wanna, um, I measured this out and it's like seven and a half inches if you wanna cut it ahead of time. So if you can make sure it's straight on the front like that. And now we're just gonna attach it to our card base so I already scored this so I'm just gonna fold it here let me get my bone folder and we'll glue this on the front now you just take your sentiment and we're gonna pop it up with dimensionals oh my gosh <laughs> I did the wrong thing you guys, I can't believe I did that. All the whole time I was saying green and I needed to make it red. You know what? No, I was wrong. I needed to make it green. And I'm wondering, can I pull this off? Let's see. Let's see. I think I can. I think I can. We'll see. I just don't like the red on red. It needs, it needs some extra color. Okay, I'm like making this up as I go along here. <laughs> so I think I think the best way is gonna be to glue this. So let's see if we tuck some glue down in here. Come on, green glue. So that tape really saved me because it didn't glue down. So I was able to pull it off. <laughs> okay, let's push that. All right, now we'll stretch it across and we're gonna do it on the other side. Oh, we got this. Look, tuck it in, make sure it's straight on the front. We saved the day, yay! <laughs> All right, now, oh, see, that is exactly what needed to happen. That looks so much better. All right, pop some dimensionals on here. I don't want this sinking down. This is kind of like a long sentiment, so make sure you put plenty of these puppies on there. Is that going to be enough? Maybe one more. Yes. Okay. Now, I like to put something on the inside because when you go to sign it, although this is light enough, it'll just be more pretty. So let's stamp some on the inside. So grab your white. I'm going to clear this stuff out of the way. So I really want to use these little Christmas lights here. Oh, I've got my Simply Chamois here on the inside. And I don't want them straight across. I want them curved and I want them in the corner. So I wanna show you how to do that. So you can take your stamp, these, and you can 
form it the way you want it and it's going to stick to your to your block hmm. no i need to make it a little more nicely curved There, see, you can make it just like you want. Okay, so check this out. Now we're gonna stamp in black and they look like they're just hanging there. Oh, I love it. And now there's this little um, light bulb, but you could also color this in with um, Stampin' Blends. Now, I think I'm going to use this jingle again, but this time I'm going to do it in red. And let's just put it right there. Ah! And then we'll grab that all the way one more time. Come here. I think we'll put it off this way. Yeah, I'm going to do it in black. I touched it. Oh man, now that means I'm gonna have to go over it. Let's see if I can do that. There, I covered it up, perfect. Now I wanna grab this little, oh yeah, that's gonna be totally cute. All right, now grab your layer and your card. Okay, and after this, I'm gonna show you how to step it up in a different way if you have a little more time and you have some Stampin' Blends. <laughs> There, isn't that fun? Okay, now I made this one ahead of time. Oh, there, oh, this was right in the center. But with this, instead of stamping the inside, I am gonna use some markers. These are the Stampin' Up's alcohol markers and they really create such a cool effect. They come in a pack of two, one dark, one light, so that you can really create uh, dimension and interest in your cards really easily. They're plus they're like so wonderful to color with because they're alcohol based. They dry really quickly. They kind of spread a little bit and just make it very, very fun. <laughs> So you can see I laid down my dark first, um, just kind of in the bottom, and then I'm going over it with the light there. All right, then we'll glue this on here. You can see how it just gives a different look. Oh, here, this is this is apples to apples. So where you've stamped on the inside or you've colored on the inside. Now, to step this up even more, I'm gonna use these little iridescent rhinestones to put them on here just to give it a little bit of glitter. And I'm looking for my scissors. Ah, found them. I saw somebody doing this on a video and I thought, well, that's brilliant. They use their scissors to pick this up. And you're just gonna lay them down it's kind of good to do it in threes, but whatever you think looks good. These come in three different sizes. You can see there's the big, medium, and tiny, tiny. I'm just gonna lay that right there. Flip over. Oh yeah, the scissors make this way easier. Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? Let me show you the other color combos. Actually, before we do that, I want to show you one more tip for decorating the envelope. So on the front of our card, how we had those words going diagonally, I'm going to transfer that same idea to our envelope, but I want to protect the rest of my envelope with post-it notes, and I'm going to put these right down the seam of where that flap is. And added benefit, it's going to hold my, uh, my envelope in place. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the red the jingle all the way. And I'm just gonna start here. Okay, and then take this off. Doesn't that look so, 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 so cool? I just think it's so neat. Okay, wait, one more thing. Let's add a jingle to the very front. And then we're gonna take this super cute little Santa's hat 
Where's my black? Oh my goodness. Wow. That almost ended up on the floor. And we're going to just do it like this. And there's a little inside stamp for the hat. You could color it in with markers too. There. So here's all the different options using the red and the green. And here are the insides. This one I colored with Daffodil Delight and also colored the stars on the inside. And so here's the two different jollies stepped up and a regular. And here's some ideas for the envelope. Now, if you want a different color combination, this one is mint macaron with rich razzleberry. And all of these elements are in that jingle jingle stamp set. And then this one is granny apple with sweet sorbet. And I've got the measurements for this uh, different front on my website. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to, you could subscribe also so you'll get notified the next time my videos come out. And I'm getting so close to a thousand subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, man, click that button. It'll really help me out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a sunny day.